Hi, this is Mark with safedaytrading.org. And if you'd like to get free information on how to safely trade day trading activities, stop in and get free information at safedaytrading.org. Again, that's safedaytrading.org. Today with me I have Gus Kepler, who is the CEO and founder of Black Box Stocks. Hey, Gus, how are you? I'm good, Mark. Thanks for uh, having me today. Yeah, I, I appreciate you taking the time out and talking with me. Um, got a question for you. Let's before we talk about black box. Let's talk about you. How did you get to where you're at, Gus? Well, the idea for black box uh, was born out of uh, personal preference or necessity. I had wanted a tool somewhat similar to what we've created. Um, to look for activity in the market, and I had also uh, been very fond of a previous fintech platform that was discontinued when it was bought by another company. So I sought to emulate some of the components or the features that this previous platform had and then include some new type of analytics. I had uh, previously been in uh, the capacity of an investment banking consultant, for lack of a better term. I operated independently and did a lot of going public transactions, uh, helping private companies go public. And as a result, I would <clears throat> be compensated uh, most of the time in equity positions, and at some point would have to liquidate those positions. And liquidating large positions uh, requires a certain level of trading skill, just like speculating in the market. So um, I learned a lot about markets and the various uh, thresholds for selling and buying and um, kind of developed a knack for uh, knowing how to get out of positions without hurting the uh, stock or the company as best I could. And that that's really my introduction to trading. Okay. So were you an IPO specialist then? Um, there were reverse mergers primarily. Um, oh, and as, as of late, uh, SPACs, which are essentially reverse mergers, have become quite uh, popular in the uh, current market. So um, oh. I'd like to say I was a little ahead of the curve. <laughs> okay. And uh, so what you did was... Uh, uh, what is it, about a year later you can get rid of the, the stock the stock at that point and uh, you tried to protect the, the players too, right? Right, absolutely. There wasn't necessarily a designated time frame, and depending on the uh, achievements of the company or the uh, you know, the value of the stock, um, you know, it, it was various timetables, but always wanted to be very conscious of the fact that any time you're liquidating a large position, you want to do it as, uh, in, in a friendly manner to the market as to not uh, hurt your position in a more thinly traded security or um, or, or the uh, that of the, the shareholders of the, the company. Okay. So Black Box was born. So can you give me, you know, um, a few minutes to describe what black box stocks is. Yeah, let me give you a little bit more background. <clears throat> there were a multitude of less than admirable players in the uh, day trading software space, and I'd seen some of them uh, do quite well selling what I considered a substandard product, if, if, if it was even a product. Um, a lot of times it was just a smoke and mirrors website. And um, I had uh, become friends with my co-founder, Eric Ferris, who was a very accomplished high-frequency trader. He was at the forefront of that um, industry back in 2004. He and his business partner had done very well. Um, as a matter of fact, one of their algorithms, um, automated systems, uh, had uh, profitable trades for 650 days in a row minus 15 mm-hmm. days of losses. So, um, But he and I were just friends. We'd been introduced through mutual friends and, you know, we're friends for about four years. And one day over drinks, I threw out the idea that, you know, 
there be a need or I felt there was a need for a retail product uh, that and could he leverage some of his uh, financial engineering skills uh, to develop a prototype and so it started out as a side project he recruited his business partner Dave David Kyle and the three of us founded black box at the very end of 2014 and we started uh, the formal entity at the beginning of 2015 so I have some extremely skilled uh, engineers and uh, financial engineers and market experts and data experts in those two and I was more on the side of the aesthetics and the concept um, and kind of bringing the business model to fruition okay so uh, what does can we talk a little bit about what black box does I mean I know it's a stock and option um, system that identifies uh, movement. Can you, you know, further explain that? Sure. Black box is an analytics tool that is designed to be very easy for a beginner to use and understand, but it scales with the user knowledge. So, if you're an accomplished trader. Um, a seasoned veteran in the industry. Um, we have every chart and study, um, and you can get as complicated as you like with uh, your trading, you know, studies and charts and various analytics we offer. But um, as a beginning trader, uh, it's not overwhelming. Um, simplicity is the key to what we do. We try and keep all of the complicated analytics on the back end and have a very user-friendly dashboard. The stock side, what we do is basically filter out from, you know, 9,000 stocks on the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange every day, you know, 40 or 50 that are highly volatile that look as though they might move significantly in one direction or the other. And we give out a variety of color-coded signals. On the options side, we track options flow and try and find uh, certain uh, options that are um, being purchased in an aggressive manner. And that is probably uh, what 70 to 80 percent of our audience um, utilizes on our system. They're mostly options traders. And um, it's a window into Wall Street and the institutions of the world that are making aggressive buys in, you know, Apple, Tesla, you name it. And I often say, you know, you, you can't tell who's buying these particular options, um, but you can get a good idea of the volume of buying coming in and how aggressively they're buy, buying them by the various color-coded um, signals we provide. Uh, we have heat maps and a whole host of other analytics. And um, I often say it's as close to getting inside information as you can without violating any laws. You can literally see what the big guys are doing in real time as they're doing it. Now, that doesn't always no. mean that they're they're their move is going to be successful, but more times than not, large financial firms have access to research and information the average everyday investor or trader does not. So we feel like we level the playing field. Okay. Do you uh, now? Do you do covered calls and all that other stuff, or is it just a you know buy and sell type of thing? We cater primarily to directional traders. Um, okay. in the options and, and the stock world. Um, but our our users uh, vary so greatly. You know, some probably utilize some of our data for covered calls, but primarily we're, we're a user base, uh, primarily uh, directional traders, if I had to give you my best estimation. Okay. Now, is this day trading, swing trading, or both? I would say most of our users are intraday traders. Uh, some are swing traders. But our, our okay. system is designed primarily for day trading and swing trading. Okay. 
Um, and you in the option chain, you go out you go out several weeks or a year or what in terms of you know what what weeks to look at. Um, it's within a two week window primarily on our heat map. Um, there, okay. you know, we provide a lot of you know analytics, um, but we, we basically filter down to the, the more active options. We don't provide all information on all options chains. Um, but we have a lot of other news and other uh, ancillary information. We have options news, options ratings, stock news, stock ratings. We have the fly as our news source um, through our data aggregator. But probably the most compelling and unique part of our system is that we're a social media hybrid. So we're not just a dashboard with analytics. Our dashboard is interactive. All our users communicate on a single screen and can chat with each other. They can cash tag stocks. Um, some of our team traders um, that act as moderators, the higher level traders in our uh, community uh, tend to uh, start rooms um, where people follow along with their trading. So it's it's a community that is trading on the various analytics that are being displayed in real time. So I describe it as the best of man and machine. Um, we provide very, very powerful analytics, but you can't replace the human element. Um, and when you have thousands of eyes on our analytics that are already drilling down on the more important aspects of what's going on in the market that day. And then you have seasoned traders forming a consensus about those analytics and picking the cream of the crop for the trades. It allows new users and even, you know, experienced traders to follow along and uh, participate in trades they may not have seen because, you know, not everybody can look at 10 things at one time. So our okay. system narrows down a lot of things, but the community itself works as its own uh, consensus forming tool, and uh, it's a very powerful platform. Now, does the analysis go on for the whole trading day, or is it, you know, do most people focus in on the first, one, you know, an opening bell? Well, there's always a lot of focus in the pre-market and at the open, but our analytics are provided throughout the day in real time. We have real-time quotes. We have updated analytics, which is all derived data from the exchanges. Yeah, I just wonder because I've seen a lot of activity right before close, um, you know, as people are adjusting their position. So I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, we 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 provide data in the from the pre-market starting at 6 a.m. Central Time all the way to the close. And then we have post-market scanners on the stock side that track stocks and segregate the data or the volume for stocks even after the market closes so you can really see what's moving after the close versus, you know, the, the volume that was generated for the whole day. Yeah. And the analytics, um, you can set up a comparison between, let's say, Apple and a Dow or something like that, too? Um, I mean, our users can do that with our charting system, but the primary use of our system is, again, for directional trades. We have color-coded alerts for the stock traders in our system and uh, or in our community. And there's various... Um, definitions of these type of um, alerts. We have um, six or seven different color-coded alerts. And then on the options side, we have options alerts as well. But um, I wouldn't say all of our users get that technical. Again, these are intraday trades, and they're primarily directional trades, and they're primarily short-term. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I made a directional trade this morning on Apple, so I know what you're talking about. Uh, right what did you do? Open. I did good. Good. I did good. Um, seems that Apple opening um, usually goes a little opposite of what it uh, 
what it did during the evening, and the Dow was a little undecisive at the start, but just moved to, move it in the right direction. Well, good deal. Yeah, yeah. It's a dynamic market, and it's always a, it's always a challenge to uh, anticipate what what's going to happen, and we strive to give our users the best possible tool or edge to to mitigate their losses and enhance their gains. Now, the, one of the things I noticed, I was looking at some of the YouTube sites, and um, some of the testimonials talk about the black box stock side hustle. Could you explain that to us? Well, you know, that's somewhat of a, a millennial or Gen Z term, side hustle. Um, you know, these are people that have regular jobs that augment their income by trading. And one of the unique things that our system provides is, you know, push alerts and uh, real-time alerts so that if you're at work and you can't necessarily watch a screen all day or if you have a firewall at work that blocks our uh, web browser, um, you can get alerts through your phone or you can listen to our options or stock audio systems. And if there's a hot opportunity that you know that you uh, see from a push alert, or, or if, if you're listening in, um, you can take advantage of that. So you know we have a lot of people that have nine to five jobs that augment their income to uh, some to a great extent by by trading, and they they do it on the side. And, and it also applies to the waiter or Uber driver or people in the service industry or the gig economy that also, you know, have have a knack for trading and have learned to do that in conjunction with their other occupation. Yeah, I, uh, Gus, I really thought it was a, an interesting comment. Um, so uh, that's why I kind of asked it because I think it's a good point for people to understand that you can still do this without sitting at a workstation. It's all mobile now, right? Yeah, so we accomplish most of our scaling of users without a native mobile app. We've had a web app and um, voice systems um, that you can listen to through WebRTC. But we are excited to say that we're going to be releasing a native app in the next 90 days, our first beta version of it was completed, and uh, we expect that to be out probably in 30 days, and then we'll have the full-blown app in 90. Okay. Now, you, um, besides the analytics and stuff, have you, um, I guess, uh, partnered up with somebody so they can, the, the member can actually make the trade from your site? Yes, we did a trading integration with TradeStation, which is a premier platform. Um, it, they've got a specific niche of traders, and they really cater to the intraday traders. Um, not all, but a good portion of their users, I think, are intraday traders. And um, we have <clears throat> put a system in place that allows for TradeStation users that are viewing our dashboard or the analytics on our dashboard to enter trades. Our order entry system is just lightning fast. You know, options chains or uh, particular options can be somewhat cumbersome to order or, or rather to enter the order. And uh, with two clicks, you've got uh, the system loaded um, without ever hitting your keyboard. And uh, all you have to type in is the... Uh, size of the or the amount of contracts or the size of the order and uh, it's been a very useful tool and trade station people love it and our our users love it so the money or the opening the account is with trade station and not with black box stocks right right so we don't facilitate trades we're not a broker dealer or online brokerage um, so the the account would be open with TradeStation. Um, we're not, you know, we have a lot of users that use other brokerages, but TradeStation is the only uh, 
order execution system or broker that we have a full integration with. Um, Blackbox just provides analytics and we're a subscription model, so we're, we, we charge a monthly subscription to be a member. Okay. Um, I can't really think of anything else uh, right now, I guess. Um, can you tell people how to get a hold of you? Sure. Well, you know, our landing page at blackboxstocks.com um, will provide a wealth of information about the services we provide. And, you know, our subscription is ninety nine ninety seven per month. And if you buy an annual subscription, we discount that by 20%. Um, we have a lot of members that are monthly members that become very fond of our system and upgrade to uh, annual membership very quickly. Um, and all the education and interaction, Q&A and uh, educational resources, including real-time participation in Q&A sessions in the market or um, scheduled classes are all 100% free of charge with your subscription. Um, we don't do any sort of uh, upsell or platinum package or, you know, anything like that. We have one price. It, uh, you get everything for that price. Uh, you're a member of the community. You get the education and the software, uh, real-time quotes, all for ninety nine ninety seven a month. And all that information is on our website, blackboxstocks.com. And we have a YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook and Instagram as well for a lot of additional information about the company. And you can see the users and their comments. And, you know, look at our Google reviews. We, uh, we've done quite well with our audience, and um, we have a really good reputation in an industry that's somewhat littered with uh, less than admirable characters. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay. Gusty, um, I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me, and I appreciate that. Mark, thank you for having me. I, uh, I'm happy to talk about our our product and uh, our community. It's growing. We're in 42 countries around the world, and uh, we're excited for uh, the next year, 2021, looks to be a banner year for us. And thank you again for having me. Thank you very much. This is Mark with Safe Day Trading. Talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I want to mention, too, that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me uh, questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.